Hello there, it's Stephanie. I am back again and Gabby has invited me and I'm so thankful that she has invited me to the Go Natural English YouTube channel to share some of my expertise because I am an English teacher and I've had lots of years of experience teaching English and she asked me to share some of my experience teaching English with you so I can help you become more fluent. So today I'm going to talk to you about three best ways to start a conversation in English. Okay, but before I do that, I want to invite you to check out a free online sample course that Gabby has created that is so awesome. It is called Seven Steps to Fluency. So check it out at gonaturalenglish.com slash seven steps. All right, so three best ways to start a conversation in English. Number one, compliment each other. Okay, I often do this in English, and maybe this is more common for girls to do this than boys, but I know that um, it's also okay to do this um, amongst men. So for example, I might say something like, hey, I love your shirt, where'd you get it? So practice your pronunciation, where'd you get it? I love to ask people where they got their clothes because if I really do like it, I want to find out where maybe I can get one of those too. So this is a great way for you to start a conversation. Then you can start talking about similar clothes that you like, maybe where you like to shop, um, something like that. Okay, so if you're a guy, what could you say? You could compliment um, another guy on maybe the cool headphones that they have, right? Hey, where'd you get those Beats headphones? I love those. Um, then they might tell you where they got them, maybe they got a good deal on them, something like that. Um, so compliment each other. It's a great way to start a conversation. Okay, number two. Another great way to start a conversation is to talk about what your future plans are. So what are you going to do this weekend? What are your plans for the summer? Hey, what do you got going on for the vacation? Right? So practice your pronunciation on those questions. Listen again. What are you going to do this weekend? What are your plans for the summer? What are you going to do for this vacation? Right? Listen to my pronunciation. You can really hear I'm reducing those um, question words, right? What are you going to do? Okay, so talking about future plans is a great way to start a conversation. So maybe you could answer by, um, not much this weekend. I'm going to just hang out with my friends, maybe go see a movie, um, go out to dinner, something like that, right? Um, maybe you could also talk about a vacation you're going to take, uh, going to visit other states in the United States, uh, something like that. Great way to start a conversation. Okay, number three. Another great way to start a conversation is to talk about something you have in common. Okay, so for example, uh, you could talk about sports if you love sports. So you could say something like, hey, did you catch that game this weekend? Did you watch that basketball game? I'm here in Boston, so sports is a huge part of people's conversations. They talk about the Celtics, they talk about the Red Sox, right? The Boston Bruins and um, all other kinds of sports. We have the, um, the soccer team here, the Breakers. So talking about sports is a great way to start a conversation. Okay, so let's say maybe you don't like sports. What else could you talk about? You could talk about movies, right? I love to watch movies. So I actually just went and saw um, Alice Through the Looking Glass. This is a new one that's out in the theaters. So this is a great way for you to talk about maybe a movie that you saw or maybe some music that you listened to or um, a museum that you went to visit. So you could start a conversation by saying, Hey, have you been to the MFA lately? Have you seen that new exhibit? It's so amazing, right? So practice those question words before you go out and start a conversation. The more you practice, the better you're going to get to be more prepared and confident in asking questions so you can start a conversation. All right, I hope to see you again soon. I'll be back to help you with more tips for being fluent. Bye-bye.